Let's see what we got. Five of Wands is here. So this Five of Wands, it talks about um, confliction. It could be a lot of arguments, fights, and chaos, and drama going on. Um, this could be going on around you. Or this could be happening to someone that you know around them. They could be conflicted. They could be going through a lot of drama. This person that, you know, that could be, that you are in question about. Five of Wands. Yeah, the lovers is here. So somebody wanted, somebody could have wanted you and this person to be in competition. Some type of conflict between you and this person. This could be because two you and this person have love for each other. Y'all have a strong connection, a bond. And they wanted it to be chaos, like drama, fights, arguments between you and this person. It could have this could have been a conflict spell that was cast upon you and this person. So it's like, you know, two people that have love for each other. Or they know that you're in love with them, they're in love with you. And um Somebody unbeknownst to you and this person play some type of conflicts because they didn't want y'all to be in love. Mm -mm. So they thought they would cast some type of conflict and confusion to make you and this person want to fight each other. Yeah. Page of Swords is here. This is somebody that was watching you, spying on you, observing you. They could have had this person watching you or something like that. Or they knew this person was watching you over social media. And they were, you know, at the five of wands. It could be different people that was at the five of wands with you, copying you, trying to compete with you, one up you and this person, like two different people. The person that you're in love with and the person that's in love with you. And it was a lot of people watching you and this person trying to send conflict to y'all. <laughs> this is sad. You at least expect people that sad. They don't have a life. And they don't know that they're, um, you know, manifesting this for their life. So whoever that they want to be in love with them or have love for them, that's conflicted. Whatever you do, it come back on you tenfold, good or bad. So as you're wishing bad for someone else, that's going to be your chaos. That's going to be in your relationship. You could be someone that's single. That person could have been someone that's single. These are people that are, you know, typically in relationships that are at the five of ones. And this could like bring their their relationship to a five of wands, if you get what I mean. And they were, you know, like collaborating, three of pentacles, got together to collaborate, to just watch you, to send conflict to you and this person. All because they know that you and this person had a deep connection. Yeah, a deep bond. And these are people that were just on the sideline that were haters, is what I'm getting. And they got behind the scenes. And they caused some type of chaos, confusion, because they wanted you and this person to be in confusion. But the lovers are still here. Yeah, Ace of Wands, this person wants to take action towards you. This person wants to be intimate with you, Ace of Wands. They want to have a new beginning with you. That's why this person was watching you. Yeah, the moon card is here. They could have kept it a secret. They didn't want people to know. It's hidden. This person could be somebody that don't trust people, so they're very secretive. They could have knew that people were hating on them, trying to send conflict to them and you. And they just kept whatever, you know, they felt about you a secret to try to, you know, stop people from trying to send. But that didn't work. People were trying to still send conflict to you and this person. So it's like they're realizing that, you know, as they kept this a secret, people still were behind the scenes collaborating, watching you. And it's just sad. And this is how the, these people don't have a life and they're conflicted. So it's like as they see something good, they want it to be tore down. 
they're not used to seeing something that's, you know, what you and this person have. They're not used to that. Yeah, three of swords is here. They're used to going through depression, heartache, betrayal. They wanted to break your heart in some type of way. And turn this person against you, turn you against this person. And it didn't work. It's like you and if you and this person share the same soul, it definitely didn't work. It's not gonna work. And um, they possibly didn't know that. Yeah, it didn't work. This caused a lot of chaos and drama. It's like if they were sending conflict to that person and you, whoever you were attached to, they were going through a lot of conflict and it wasn't hitting you. Whoever that person is attached to, they're going through a lot of conflict and it wasn't hitting them. It just, well, I'm getting that it was hitting that person if they were attached to them. You're someone that detached from people. So you possibly weren't around people. You were by yourself. And people were watching you. Because there's this three of pentacles that's here. It's like someone is by their self up here. And then a couple people are behind the scenes watching this person. So it's like you were by yourself. This person could have been, you know, by their self too. But they were attached to certain people. Could have been family or something. They were going through chaos. Something like that. But you weren't, you weren't around people. They were watching you like over social media and things like that. And they wanted to keep that hidden in some type of way. They wanted you to be heartbroken for some type of reason. <laughs> this is sick. Yeah, the hangman is here. Somebody got caught up and they're heartbroken. This hangman talks about being like, you know, getting caught up in a situation. It could be like, you know, sacrificing yourself and you're hanging yourself. Somebody could have sacrificed their self and they didn't know as they were trying to sacrifice you. And um, they're going through a lot of conflict right now because they didn't know whatever they were doing in secret. They didn't know what they were doing, that it would, you know, come back on them and not you. You didn't do anything to this person. You're not someone that walks in this five of wands energy, so it could not hit you. Yeah, it, it just went back to that person that was at the five of wands and people that they're attached to. And they ended up facing their self in a hangman position. Yeah, and they're heartbroken at the Three of Swords because they realize they sacrificed their self, the hangman, and so they got caught up in something. And this was something that was hidden, a secret. Yeah, this is weighing them down. Ten of Wands is here. They didn't do their research. And they're feeling pressured and weighed down and burdened. It's a lot of stuff on their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh. Whatever they had not caught their self up in trying to send conflict to you. This don't make no sense. Yeah, King of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. Wow. They could have got a message from someone. Yeah, you could have messaged someone with this King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, or something is coming towards you quick. Eight of Wands and King of Pentacles. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. This could be somebody that's wealthy with this king of pentacles and um yeah i don't know why i'm getting that four of pentacles is here yeah this person wants to this person is holding on to you whoever this person is they're being stingy four of pentacles and they want to communicate or come towards you quick eight of wands whoever this king of pentacles is yeah they're holding on to you this person could be an earth sign this could be the person that um you have a deep connection with and um, they've been watching you, observing you. Yeah. This person wants to commit to you. The high priestess is here. Let's see what this high priestess is. It's something that's being hidden. Regret, five of cups. Well, let me just keep it. It popped out twice. <laughs> yeah. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Star card. This person look at you as someone that's very healing. You help this person heal. This person look at you as their other half. Queen of Pentacles is here. King, Queen of Pentacles. And then um, Five of Cups, they're in regret. They're ashamed and embarrassed. 
They could see you as someone that's the only person that's loyal or something like that. Yeah, you're someone that's loyal. You, this person look at you as, you know, you're like them. Yeah. And then the star card is here. You're someone that's a star. This person looks at you as inspiration. Like, um, they only see you. They look at you as like you're theirs. Yeah. You see how this person is on this four of pentacles. They're holding this pentacle. This is mine. So it's like they know that you and them are uh, share the same soul. Yeah, this person is in regret if something that, you know, happened that was hidden. They're in regret with whatever this five of wands energy is. Page of wands. You could receive some communication from this person. And then seven of cups is here. They could feel like the, the, the communication is confusing. Yeah. Somebody could have sent this person some type of communication to confuse them about you. Seven of Cups and Page of One. So they got some type of confusion. It was some type of message that was sent to this person to place an illusion over them. They could have thought the message came from you, but it didn't. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. It was to confuse this person. Yeah, to slow them down, Knight of Pentacles. Whoever these five of wands energies is doing, you know, did a lot of stuff to slow this person down so they wouldn't move forward. They would have slow movement. They would just be confused in a confused mindset. They're trying hard to keep this person away from you. These are people, the same people that could have sacrificed their self and they didn't know. And they're scared. Like if this person comes towards you or something like that and they're trying to slow them down. But, um, yeah, because they know this person is in love with you. Ace of Cups is here. They're trying to slow this person down because they know you and this person are in love with each other. But it's like, even though this person is not around you, these people are caught up in some type of situation and it's weighing them down. So they don't get it. They don't get whatever they did. It did not work. They don't have any control over this situation. They could have thought they had some type of control, but they don't know that it's... um. The control that they thought they had was just weighing them down, stressing them out, burdening them. Because it's just, you know, stuff that they're placing on their self and they have got caught up in something. Yeah, I don't know what type of sacrifice these people had to make over their self, but um, you and this person still feel the same way about each other. No matter what, you know, confusion came through, whatever was hidden, whatever chaos, the lovers is in the upright. It didn't work. It's like the more and more they sunk conflict to you, the more and more of a deep bond and connection that you and this person have. And that's why this person is at the four of pentacles with you. They didn't know that, that this would enhance the way this person feel about you, enhance the way you feel about that person. Yeah, the hermit card is here. And then eight of pentacles. Yeah, this person is someone that ghosted you. They ghosted you um, because they needed to go within to investigate so they could work on their self. This person needed to get by their self and work on their self. That's why they ghosted you. They were going through a lot of conflict and they didn't know. And this could have been people that were close that were at this 501 sending conflict to them. Literally did something to try to, you know, harm them and they didn't know. It was a hidden, it was a secret. All because they knew this person wanted to take action towards you and they wanted a new beginning with you. So they figured they would, you know, make this person be in conflict with you. Try to, you know, you know, when people try to do make a person be in conflict as this uh, seven of cups and then page of wands, probably they sent some type of message of confusion. Like they could have used your number in a fake talk, you know, text app or something like that. And um, this person thought it was you sending the messages, but it wasn't. And they thought that this will have you and this person going through conflict. This person is in love with you. Um, they don't care what, what messages that was. <laughs> it was false. It was a secret. And this person know. Yeah, this person know. <laughs> yeah, the death card is here. 
These are people that were that thirsty, people that they needed to bring uh, into a situation with. They could have made it seem like you wanted this person dead or something. Yeah, they went far to try to make this person hate you. Um, this person's in love with you. They knew it wasn't true. <laughs> Yeah, the chariot is here. They're moving forward after gaining the truth and clear. They were it's like they already knew before the messages came through. They knew it wasn't you. They knew it was people trying to send conflict to you and them. And that's why this person been at the four of pentacles with you. Whoever these people are, it you know, it was meant for them to get caught up. Because um they whatever they were doing, they were just placing this on this weight on their self that they were trying to place onto you and this person for no reason. You didn't do anything to this person, to these people. This person didn't. It's all because you and this person are in love with each other. Y'all have a deep connection, a deep bond. That's it. Y'all had a new beginning and people didn't want y'all to have that. So they did everything to slow this person down. Everything to send conflict to both of y'all. And it did not work. These are people that got their self caught up in some type of situation and now they're heartbroken. They're weighed down, pressured, and burdened. This is sad. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. It's like you, you've walked away from whatever, way before they try to confuse this person, you had already walked away at the Eight of Cups. This person was already at the Eight of Cups, not in a confused mindset, but these people didn't know. Yeah, this, this is something serious. <laughs> Guy that has stepped in on this situation a long time ago. And this person is somebody that don't talk a lot. So they didn't. Whoever these people were that were around this person, they didn't know that this person was already woke. And I don't want to wait. <laughs> oh, I'm done. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles and Three of Cups. This person wants to reconnect with you. They know you've been single for a long time. Um... They look at you as someone that's saving yourself for a commitment. This Three of Cups could be a marriage as well. But it talks about reconciliation, events, gatherings, celebrations. And um, they see, they've see they been seeing you in this Nine of Pentacles energy for a long time. Self-sufficient, independent, can stand on your own two feet. You don't need any help. Very abundant. You're a boss. And this is how this person, you know, been seeing you for a while and they want to reconnect with you. Yeah, it's like they, they feel like you bossed up throughout this whole situation. Yeah, towers here. A lot of people are sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. For all the, you know, destruction, crisis, and tower moments that they wanted for you. For no apparent reason, just because of the love that you have in your heart. And these are people that operated out of hate. That's sad. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. You're someone that loves unconditionally. And this is how this person look at you. They, they look at you as someone that loves unconditionally. And this is... <laughs> Yeah, the tower card. And then Ten of Cups is here. This person look at you as their ultimate happiness. Like they, yeah, this person, this person, you brought a, a major change loving this person unconditionally. And you haven't even been around this person. They could have just knew because of um, how the connection is. You know, if you and this person share the same soul, y'all have dreams about each other, visions about each other and things like that. This person is always on your mind. And stuff that you would least expect. But, um, yeah. <laughs> King of Swords is here. And then the Strength card is here, yeah. <laughs> so, with this King of Swords and the Strength card, this person, they, um... There's someone that's at the King of Swords now. They've gained knowledge. They gain truth and clarity. They want to speak truth and clarity to you. They look at you as someone that's very strong. And they also can see you in this King of Swords energy. Someone that's straightforward, you know, no, no BS type of nonsense. And um, you speak the truth to people. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. It's like you're in this energy with this part with uh different people but with this person you're in this lover's energy yeah this person could be the same way they're in this king of swords energy that they this person look look at you as uh, you know growth strength you give this person strength yeah and that's the truth ace of swords clarity 
they want to speak truth and clarity to you, they've gained truth and clarity. Yeah, the will of fortune is here. This was destined to happen. Things are just going, you know, how they're supposed to go. Yeah, this person knew, know the truth about their destiny. They know the truth about their purpose. They know you and them have a will of fortune. Good luck. Yeah. And then Queen of Cups. Let yeah, this person know that you're in love with them. Queen of Cups is here. You're someone that's emotionally balanced, emotionally mature, and um, you're in love with this person. That's what I keep hearing. They know this. They know the truth that you're in love with them. You two are destined to be together. And um, yeah, they look at you as a mother as well or a father taking where it resonates. They look at you as a good parent. You pour out love to everyone, no matter what. Even people that, you know, did stuff to you, you still love those people. You don't hold any bitterness or, you know, want to get revenge on anyone. Whatever was meant to like tear you down, it made you grow. And you're still able to be this Queen of Cups. Emotionally balanced. It didn't tear your emotions up. Yeah, the Fool card is here. You're on a journey. You're going towards a whole nother direction or you've went towards a whole nother direction in life. And this person wants to possibly come towards you. Because they see you as their queen of cups. They want to come towards you and they want to um, take a leap of faith towards a whole other direction too. Yeah, six of pentacles. Equal give and take. This person look at you as their equal. They could want to give you something with the six of pentacles, but they look at you as their equal. Balance, yin and yang. And you make this person happy. The sun card is here. This person found out that you were their equal. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. That was exposed. That was illuminated. That came to light. This person know who you are to them. They look at you as the sun. Throughout all of this darkness that took place, this person look at you as happiness, the sun. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. They want to connect with you. Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups. They want to express the way they feel to you. Have an emotional conversation with you. Yeah, the musician is here. They see you as someone that's a, a musician that's manifesting. So you, you're manifesting this person. Or they're trying to manifest you. It could be both. They look at you as someone that's a manifester. You have creativity and foresight of your own future. And your mind and your business. And they want to reconnect with you. Six of Cups, reunite with you, and then Queen of Wands. They look at you as someone that's very attractive. You have a lot of passion for this person, attraction for this person. And um, <clears throat> they look at you as a leader. And I'm hearing they looked at you like this in the past. Whatever confusion that was meant to make this person confused, it made the love grow. Whatever they had for you that you didn't even know. <clears throat> 